Today, our verse is Matthew chapter 22, verse 16. And they sent their disciples to him along with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are true and teach the way of God truthfully. And you do not care about anyone's opinion, for you are not swayed by appearances. After Jesus told the parable of the wedding banquet and how the Jewish people who were initially invited missed the invitation, the Pharisees went and plotted against Jesus. Our verse is the opening conversation of how they planned to trap Jesus. The Pharisees sent their disciples to Jesus along with the Herodians. When these came to Jesus, they said to him, Teacher, we know you are true and teach the way of God truthfully, and you do not care about anyone's opinion, for you are not swayed by appearances. The first thing you notice in their statement is that they flatter Jesus. In this verse, they tend to affirm who Jesus is and what he stands for. We will soon realize their words were flattery to set a trap for Jesus. However, they then indicted themselves and those who sent them. Let us examine what they said about Jesus. First, they addressed Jesus as a teacher. Indeed, Jesus was not just a teacher, he was their teacher. He was the true didascalos, the rabbi. Second, they acknowledged that Jesus was true and taught the way of God truthfully. By this statement, they were indicting the Pharisees and their own teachers that they did not teach the way of God truthfully. Third, Jesus did not care about anyone's opinion. Jesus stood for the truth. He is the truth himself. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Therefore, nothing less than the truth can be found in Jesus. Consequently, he cannot admit opinions that contradict the truth. Again, these people accepted that their own teachers are carried away by the opinions of others. And finally, they affirmed that Jesus was not swayed by people's appearances. Jesus could speak to anyone, even those in authority, just as he spoke to his disciples and anyone who came to him. He did not let the position or appearance of people determine his position on issues. He stood for the right thing always. These four points stare us in the face today. Can we say we stand and teach the truth about God with sincerity, stand by and live by them? How often do we flatter people to win their praise and attention or admiration or get what we need from them, even when we know deep in our hearts we are not sincere with them? How often do we bury our heads because of the opinions of others instead of standing up for the truth of the gospel? How often do we allow people's positions and appearances to silence us or change our position on issues? Lord, we pray for the grace to remain steadfast, true to your word, and not be swayed by people's positions and appearances. Amen. God bless you, and I wish you a lovely day.